Hey everybody, it's Malik again, and I'm going to show you the easiest way. I'm going to show you a couple other ways too in, in some later videos, but I'm going to show you the easiest way to get into Windows if you have forgotten your password. So, this is the latest build. But, uh, can't remember my password, can't get in, can't do anything. Great, I put my password, hint that it's a password, that doesn't help me, my password is not password, can't get in. So, I don't have any other accounts on this machine, what am I going to do? Well, there are multiple ways to break this thing. Uh, but I'm going to show you by far the easiest way to do it. There's some fun ways to do it, playing with some files and getting in where you're not supposed to be and all that, but uh, there's a much easier way to do it. So I'm going to, this is a virtual, but I'm going to restart this machine. And I have it set up as a virtual so I can record it while I'm restarting. <clears throat> and I am going to boot. Ugh, I think I missed it. Crud. I'm going to boot right back into Windows again. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to boot from CD. Now I'm running uh, VirtualBox, so I can't boot from USB because I do have the USB too. But I have uh, a CD set up, and I'll I have a link in the description to the. Uh, to the page where you'll download the ISO file to build the CD. Um, oh, there it goes. I did beat it. It is called the Hiren's Boot CD. So, I boot it off of that CD. Mm -hmm. Just going to do a little setup in the beginning. Okay, and it's got some, some interesting things in here. It's got some utilities and all in here. It's got a command prompt. It's got a browser. But I'm just going to go to utilities. And in the utilities, there is a security folder. In the security folder, there's a folder called passwords. And there's one in here called Lazy Soft Password Recovery. So I'm just going to launch that. Now when it opens up, <clears throat> you have Reset Windows Password or Find the Windows Product Key. Well, I want to reset the Windows Password. So I just click Next. It's going to tell me it's for non-commercial use. I have to click Yes. It sees that the OS is Windows 10, 64-bit, and I have Reset Local Password. When I click Next, it's going to show me all of the accounts. So there's mine. It shows its administrator. It is not a blank password. I just select it, click on Next, I can put a description in here if I want it to. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to tell it to reset or unlock. It says the password reset successfully. I'll say OK. Finish. Close it. And then restart. So now I'm just going to reboot back into Windows 10. Uh, 
that boot on up. Oops, get that out of the way. Get rid of my screen there. That's what I was logging in as. It asked me for a password before, but now I just sign in. And I'm now in Windows. So it is by far the easiest way to reset your password. Uh, there are some, you know, fun ways to do it where we can, using the same CD, we can we can boot to the command prompt, we can play with um, cmd.exe, you know, the, the executable that runs the command prompt. Uh, we can play with that and the uh, utility manager, swap those two out modify those, reboot, when we click on ease of access button it gives us a command prompt, we can create a profile, it's a cool way of doing it, it it's neat looking to show, but it's a bunch of steps. Um, no need to go through that many steps when you don't have to. So I'm going to, let me put something on the screen here real quick for you. Right, let me go ahead and just copy it and put it in Notepad. I'll show you the link that you can build that CD from. drop this on here. <clears throat> so it's called the Hiron's Boot CD. And you can build it uh, on a CD or you can build it on a USB. It gives you the, uh, the steps for, uh, for both of them. Um, I actually have both. Um, let me go ahead and paste this in here. There you go. So, make that a little bit bigger. I got a bunch of virtuals running here, so machine's a little bit slow. But it's just hirensbootcd.org. And you don't really have to even go to the, the USB booting. That's for setting up... Um, booting to a USB drive. <clears throat> Make it a bit bigger. So, this is really the path right there that you want. It's just hirensbootcd.org. You'll go to the downloads. It's, it's Windows 10 PE. You'll go to the downloads. It's uh, ISO file. Uh, you just explode it uh, using whatever program you want to use um, on a USB drive or on a uh, CD and you'll be good to go. I typically use WinISO to do mine. I uh, don't have any problems with that or I'll use Rufus uh, if I do it on USB. Rufus is usually one of the easier ones to use uh, to, to throw it to a USB, a bootable USB. But that will take care of that. So that's the easiest way to get through. Um, later on, I'll show you, probably the next couple of nights, I'll show you a more fun way to do it, uh, where we actually play with uh, command.exe and utilmon.exe uh, to get through the back door. But you'll still need the CD to do it. So I'll go through 10 steps when two work. All right. So hope that helps you out. And... Uh, until next time, have a great night.